Hi, welcome again to another YouTube tutorial. Today we're going to be discussing one's complement, two's complement, and sign magnitude numbers. Uh, we're going to start out with one's complement. As you can see, I already have two columns here um, already written out. They're not complete, um, but we will discuss that in here just in a second. Uh, this is the decimal numbers: three, two, one, zero, negative zero, negative one, negative two, negative three. And this is our binary counterparts, so this would be a 3 and a 2 and a 1 and a 0 for the positive numbers. Um, in one's complement, um, and sine magnitude, there's going to be, there's two similarities here. Uh, there's a negative 0 in both sine magnitude and one's complement, um, which is kind of bad form to have. Isn't there probably a good reason why it's not being used anymore. Um, two's complement uh, eliminates this problem, and we will discuss that towards the end of this video. Um, also, in uh, a similarity between one's complement, two's complement, and sine magnitude, is our most significant bit, our leftmost bit, will uh, be the sine of our number. So if it is a zero, it will represent a positive number. If it is a one, it will represent a negative number. Um, also, this reduces our number size that we can have. Uh, because we're using our most significant bit, we can't use it to represent a number. So now we are limited to these two bits, the right two bits, at least in this particular situation. And now we're limited to a 3 as our highest number instead of a 7 that we could have. <clears throat> so the highest number we can have in a three-digit binary number that's signed is a positive 3 and a negative 3. Now... For one's complement, it's going to be very simple. All we do is invert the bits. We change what is a 1 becomes a 0, and what is a 0 becomes a 1. Let me show you. A negative 0, let's find it. See, here's a positive 0. So we will take our positive 0, and we will invert this, change these zeros to 1s, and now we have found our negative zero in one's complement. And let's go ahead and run through the rest of these. Uh, here's a negative one. Here's our positive one. To find its counterpart, we'll take zero, zero, one. We will invert it. It becomes one, one, zero. Negative 2, here's a regular positive 2, 0, 1, 0. Invert the numbers, 1, 0, 1, that becomes our negative 2. Negative 3, here's a positive 0, 1, 1. And we would change it to a 1, 0, 0. That is now our negative 3 and 1's complement. <clears throat> now, you may be asking yourself, you know, hey, instead of inverting all these bits and doing all this, why don't we just go ahead and just put a 1 right here in the most significant bit and call that a negative 1? Well, that would be the same as sine magnitude. Um, however, a 1's complement, we do it because it makes it where the computer can perform calculations on it. And I will discuss this in a bit, too, but just to clarify that, I wanted you to know that we invert the numbers so that the computer can perform calculations on those numbers. Now, let's go ahead and do a subtraction problem. There's no point in doing an addition problem um, with this because it would be the same as any standard binary addition problem. However, uh, the negative number of the subtraction we will do, and we also perform the subtraction by using addition. It may sound a little confusing, but it's not very, it's very simple. Let's take uh, 3, and let's subtract 1 from 3. Um, in binary, that would be a 0, 1, 1. <clears throat> and our 1, a 0, 0, 1. And there is our subtraction problem. Now, to perform this problem, instead of subtracting 1 from 1 and borrowing all our 1s and all that stuff, what we're going to do is we're going to actually invert our bottom number and change it to a negative one. Then we're going to add the top number 
which is essentially adding a negative 1 to a positive 3. Anytime you add a negative number to a positive, <clears throat> or anytime you add a negative number to even a negative number, you will end up with a, a subtraction. Okay? So 3 minus 1 will now become 3 plus a negative 1. Um, the reason why we do this is also because computers uh, only have addition units in them. They don't have subtraction units because we can perform the addition through, I uh, perform the subtraction through addition. So, what we're going to say with one's complement, the bottom numbers are one. We invert that to change it to a negative one. One, one, zero. Then what we're going to do is we're going to take this number, we're going to bring it around, our three, and a zero, one, one, and we're going to add it. So, zero and one is one. One and one, zero, carry the one. One and one is zero, and we carry the one. Now, as you can see, because we're dealing with three digit, uh, three bit binary numbers, uh, we have a fourth bit. Now, with one's complement, what we do is if you run into this situation, which you don't always, but if you do, you take this one and you swing it around and put it underneath and you add it back into the problem. So one and one, zero, carry the one, becomes one and the zero. That's our answer. Uh, that's two. Three minus one is two. See how that worked. Now, if you don't have a carry, uh, an end around carry is how they call it, <clears throat> if you don't have that, then your answer here would be correct. Um, and that's all there is to, uh, to performing a uh, one's complement uh, subtraction problem. Let's go ahead, if you want to, we can run through another one real quick. Let's go ahead and let's subtract. Oh, I don't know. Let's go ahead and do a 2, 2 minus 2. 2 minus 2. And that would be a 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0. Subtraction problem. Invert our bottom number from 1, 0, 1. Now it becomes a negative 2. Bring our positive 2 down below. 0, 1, 0. Add the 2 together. 1 and 0, 1, uh, 0 and 1 is a 1, and 1. Now we have a 1, 1, 1, which is the equivalent to 0. Notice we didn't have the carry. Here's a 1, 1, 1, negative 0. That is the correct answer. Um, <clears throat> in one's complement, if you have a negative 0 or a positive 0, both of them are the equivalent to each other. There's no difference. So that is the correct answer. Now, let's discuss... <clears throat> sign magnitude. Sign magnitude, you're going to say, hey, uh, this is real easy. You know, and it is easy for counting, but it's really bad for performing any kind of mathematical problems with it. Um, all we're going to do is um, have, let's see, we have our negative zeros. We're going to change our first bit to a one, and then these following bits, the trailing bits, will become zeros like a normal zero. Um, here's one, and it's yeah, zero, zero, one for one. Change the most significant bit to a one. One, zero, one. This remains the same. A negative two, here's your positive two, zero, one, zero. Now it becomes a one, one, zero. And for a negative three, zero, one, one. So now it becomes a one, one, one. That's sine magnitude. Very simple. All you do is just change the most significant bit and you're done. But if you wanted to perform a math problem with it, the same way as we were doing before, let's try a uh, 3 minus 1 again. <clears throat> so we take our 3, should have just left it on the board, huh? Minus 1, and a 0, 1, 1, and a uh, 1 is a 0, 0, 1. Well, we, uh, since we don't have a subtraction unit in the computer, we're going to have to add a negative number to the positive. So our negative uh, 1 will be a 1, 0, 1. And then we'll add 3 to it. And a 1 and a 1, 0. Carry the 1, 
one and a one, zero, carry the one, a one and a one, a zero, and we will carry the one. Now, we've exceeded, of course, our three bits that we're allowed to. Um, <clears throat> at this point, there's nothing you can really do with it. If we wanted to swing it around like one's complement, and we want to add it back in, you still end up with the wrong answer. Anyway, this works. Whenever you're trying to use sine magnitude to perform a mathematical problem, you're going to run into this, the wrong answer. Uh, 3 minus 1, we did it. It's not a 0. Uh, we had tried to add the 1 back into it. Once again, it's not a 1. It's a 2. So sine magnitude doesn't work for mathematical functions, which makes it worthless. Unless you're going to use it for counting, it has no use. Okay, now let's get on with uh, two's complement. And two's complement is essentially one's complement, but without our negative zero. That's gone. We got rid of it, finally, huh? So what we do with two's complement is if we want to find our negative one, we come up here to a positive one, zero, zero, one, okay? And as we did with one's complement, is we invert it. Then, after we've inverted it, we add one to it. So, zero and one is one, and one, and one. One, one, one is a negative one, and two's complement. A negative two, here's a positive two, zero, one, zero. Invert it, one, zero, one. Add one to it, one and one, zero. Carry the one, one and zero is a one and one. One, one, zero is now our two's complement, negative two. And for three, zero, one, one, invert, add one, one, zero, one is our negative three. And there we have it for two's complement. Very simple, invert, add one, that's it. Now, let's perform, um, let's perform our three, three minus one subtraction problem. 3 minus 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1. Now here's what we're going to do. Since we don't have the subtraction unit, we're going to invert the bottom number, 1, 1, 0. We're going to add a 1 to it, which 1, 1, 0 plus a 1 would be 1, 1, 1. That is now a negative 1. Now we take our positive 3 up here at the top, bring it down below, 0, 1, 1, and we add it. So 1 and 1, 0, carry the 1, 1, 1, and 1 is a 1, carry the 1, 1 and 1, 0, and we carry the 1. Now, <clears throat> in 1's complement, we take that number, we swing around, we add it back in. In 2's complement, we forget it. That's it. We cut it off. It's truncated. We don't use that number. Now, <clears throat> our correct answer is 2. 3 minus 1 is 2. That is correct. So whenever you're using 2's complement, you add that 1 into it. You invert the numbers, add 1. Then, when you're done figuring out your problem, the extra bit is truncated. It's just gone. And we can go ahead and perform another problem. Let's go ahead and do our 2 minus 2. So 2 minus 2, which is a 0, 1, 0, um, minus 0, 1, 0. Invert 1, 0, 1. Add 1 to it. 1 and 1, 0. Carry the 1, 1. And one, 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 zero. You see right here, one, one, zero, or negative two. 
Now that we have the proper negative number to work with, we'll take our top number, 0, 1, 0, and we will add that, 0 and 0, 0, 1 and 1, 0, carry the 1, 1 and 1, 0, carry the 1, truncate it, 0, 0, 0, that's the correct answer. So now you should have a thorough understanding of how one's complement works, sine magnitude, and two's complement. <clears throat> I appreciate you watching today. I hope this helps. Um, if you enjoyed the video, all I ask is that you uh, subscribe, and I look forward to seeing you again. Thank you.